Sony Interactive Entertainment presents Twentieth Century Studios. Predator Hunting Grounds. Press X to start. I seen some of the movies. Now, get to play it. Oh, neat. Oh, this is a lot to see right here. Uh, they've got daily challenges, weekly challenges, complete quick play matches as fire team. Successfully, fire team. Kill NPC soldier, fire team. What's this extra thing? Collectible. Elizabeth tapes. Um, okay. I guess there's tapes. Well, that's obvious. So I guess you just find tapes during your gameplay. Oh, okay. Let's see what this is. Know how long this is going to take? Hey, hang tight, hang tight. We just gotta get this thing recording. I'm a foreign national being held unlawfully. You have no jurisdiction. Look, look, okay, you were right. Legally speaking, we had no right to enter Mexican airspace, no right to confiscate exotic materials, and no right to detain you. This is a black site. Yes, ma'am. United States. It could be Canada. Climate's wrong, and your accents. Smart. <laughs> well, Miss Nissenbaum. Sergeant Major. Sergeant Major Isabel Abigail Nissenbaum. Numerous commendations, though no mention of total confirmed kills, which I'm guessing is rather high. It is. But then there's this last note. Current status, absent without leave. Now, why would someone with an impressive service record decide to go AWOL? I was taken. Taken? Abducted. Mm-hmm. That little buggy you landed proves as much. Sergeant Major, I believe you've had contact with an aggressive alien civilization, one whose culture is deeply saturated in the ritual hunting of other intelligent species? Like in Guatemala. Oh, well, we're aware of the Valverde incident. I'm surprised you are. Word gets around. Word of alien manhunters wiping out special ops in the jungle gets around? Unlikely. I'm guessing you're a wet work type. Assassins tend to have unsavory friends with classified intel. I wouldn't know. Sergeant, uh, Isabel, look, look, we already have the ship. The only thing I want from you is your story. After that, we'll fly you home, first class, hot towels, and the whole shebang. Why should I trust you? Because we're trying to stop him. And by the look of the inventory in that ship, so were you. Alien jawbones, thermal netting, predator armor, <coughs> and a bolt-action sniper rifle. Ballistic says it's been fired a lot. All right, Sergeant Major. Cards on the table. We are a task force directed by the United States government to assess and respond to a very real alien threat. One that attacked first and continues to do so with impunity. How many have been on Earth? That's classified. More than one? Five? Ten? A hundred? Too many. You don't know. Well, I know you've killed one. Likely more. I know you commandeered an alien spacecraft and successfully piloted it back to Earth. <laughs> I'd like to know more. I'm also one of a select few on this planet 
who will believe you? We, uh, I promise I will do everything I can to take what you tell me and use it against these monsters. Fine, go ahead. Where were you when you were abducted? I was on a mission. And what were you doing in the moments before your abduction? Hiding. Care to elaborate? No. <sighs> okay. Describe being abducted. During the course of the mission, I slept. When I woke up, I was falling, like in a nightmare. You fell asleep, and then you were falling. It was a parachute insertion, like a halo jump. By the time I realized what was happening, the chute opened on its own. I thought I'd wake up, but I didn't. It was real. From that elevation, could you recognize anything? No. There was only jungle. Sergeant Major Nissenbaum, in your estimation, during the time of your abduction, do you believe you were on Earth? No, I do not. Wow, that's a uh, interesting way to start things. Okay, and show me customization. Ooh, Predator. Fire team. Boring humans. Okay. Okay, melee. Oh wait, hold on. This is standard predator. Oh, we got the lady predator. Nice, level 12 you get her. Cool. We never really see female predators. So everyone wondered, are they a thing? Okay, that's another predator. Looks a little thinner. This one got different. It's another female predator. Oh wow. Oh, with the bow. Cause the blow out. Oh, this one seems beefy. Whoa, what is up with the head? Huh. Wow, level 115. That's a lot. Oh, the toys. You gotta love the toys. Yeah, can't really do much with that. And heals massive amounts of health. Interesting. Clear. Okay. Take less damage from bullet based weapons. Increase use of gear items. Larger sound indicates a vision mode. Okay, let's check out appearances. Oh, the head. You can change the head. Skin pattern. <laughs> wow. Pulse. C form. Brush. Ivy. Whoa, cell. Grave. T 
Terrier. Classic. Gator. I'm not sure how you call that one. Raptor. We got a lot of neat looks for it. About the body. Okay, what's the deal with the body? Armor style. Oh, okay. That's neat. Oh, a lot of interesting looks for it. to your surroundings. Ooh, this one looks really nice. Platinum. Golden. Head. Fred locks. Thicker. get colors of your locks. <laughs> oh, okay. So you can have it thin. Okay, what about the mask? Bronze, Amber, Crimson, Olive, Sage. Really neat designs. Mortal. <laughs> Looks like a skull. Inferno. says Phoenix. Plague. Ravager. Amendment. It's a lot of choices. I mean, that's really good. I mean, if you're going to be playing this a lot, Got to have multiple choices, not just like, but like a few, ten, six, and that's it. 
you want people to play your games and it's just online no story or anything like that then you gotta have a lot a lot of time for them to burn and have like a goal for if they want a mask or anything specific it's really good they got all these options but how do you get this one you don't buy it maybe it's pre-order bonus or something Eighty seven. So maybe that's like the original one. Mr. Black. <laughs> Saber. War paint. Oh, okay. Wow, you can really do a lot of customizations. Put war paint on your helmets. Your mask, I mean, whichever. I wonder if we get to hunt Arnold. <laughs> the Governada. The human skull. Body type. There we go. Choose to be male or female. that about trophies Bobcat the skull of a large ferocious bobcat that once roamed the forests of North America the skull of a coyote pack leader oh, okay skull of a notorious giant timber wolf that dominated the northern lands. I mean, it doesn't really look that big, but then again, the predator's probably more bigger. <laughs> this seems so highlighted. Sure, what was the appearance they want to look at? Custom loadouts. Okay, let's check out Fire Team. Well, at least there's a lot of foam. Well, it appears like there's more than different looks for a human. At least it seems like that. Okay, let me see. Do you gotta change appearance of these guys? Okay, Could be male, female. Outfit. Change the coloring. Really, not that much. So, elite. Oh, when you're 100. <laughs> Predator tattoo. That guy's packing. the head. Oh, you could change the hairstyle. Spiky fade. A 
light blonde. Brown. Dark brown. Face paint. <laughs> like how Arnold had it. Skin, head one, head two, head three, okay, like four. I mean, it's a shooting game, it's not like you're gonna be staring at people's faces. Accessories. Helmet, hat. I have a bandana. I have a baseball cap. <laughs> baseball cap backwards. Baseball cap flat bill. A beanie. <laughs> oh, the stereotype. Beret. Cadet cap. There we go. Uh, but I don't have the money for that. I'm assuming you can probably change the coloring of that. Ooh, calm headset. Nice. Okay, I, I, I can see going for, you know, being human trying to survive predator. Sport cap. Backwards. I mean, keeps you dry from the rain. Helmet. And helmets are good to keep you safe from head trauma. Field hat. Combat helmet. Cowboy hat. Yeah, you gotta be really good with a gun. Gas mask. Eyewear? Yeah, now we're talking. Glasses. I'm a glasses guy, so I need to have my glasses. I can't get it now. Goggles. Now I wonder, can you have the the eyewear with your hat wear? Or maybe it probably won't let you. Racing goggles. Sunglasses. They look nice. Eye patch. Yeah, I got some stories for you. Don't get pink eye. Well, that was about it. Lower face? Not bandana. Half mask. Full head cover. Huh. Ballistic mask. Now oh, that looks really neat.
a reaper. <laughs> I can see a lot of people try to go for this one. Swearing they're badass and then they'd be the ones to send messages to other players like, Oh, you're bad. Yeah, usually those are the types that go for it. Not all of them, just some. Enjoy all of it. Oh, prototype. Call that a knife. Oh, that there's a knife. Of a slain predator. Yeah, that's a, that will do the trick. You will want that one. Okay, for the pistols. Oh, it's just only three? Shotguns. Whoa. That one has four holes. Dual shot. Pump action. 12 gauge shotgun. That's a shotgun? Fully automatic 12 gauge shotgun. Huh. Submachine gun. The Uzi's special. What's the special? So only two of them? Is that a grenade launcher? Yep. Grenade launcher. Oh, everyone's favorite. Yeah, of course, you can barely walk with it. I'll, I'll just stick with the standard stuff for now. hip fire accuracy no effect in clash It just saves automatically after I customize that. I didn't really do change with Predator, because I mean, uh... yeah, is that my guy? Okay, tutorial. Finally, get on with this. because you see the predator doesn't always mean they see you. Coordinate with your team to organize the most effective attack or defense. <laughs> I 
Ah, oh, we're starting as the big guy. Reach the waypoint. To sprint. Oh, okay. Whoa. It's a soldier. Fresh meat. Navigation. I see humans. Outpost guards. Outtakes. You see nothing. <laughs> okay, I gotta learn how to be element of surprise.
kill the VIP. Kill the remaining. It's hard to do the sneak ones. I'm learning. I feel like Assassin's Creed. There we go. You are. Overload. Where does it indicate that? Okay, right there. Thank you for playing tutorial. Visit the extras menu options. I guess I can understand the basics. Field lockers. What's that? Um, is it some kind of loot box?
Oh, okay, so they do got a loot box kind of thing. Oh, nice. Nope, I don't want to use my things yet. Extras. Dutch tapes. That briefing. It's September 12th, 1987. My name is Major Alan Schaefer, also known as Dutch. Oh. U.S. Army veteran, special ops commander, and the only survivor of the Valverde incident. These tapes are my personal testimony. Insurance. Should anything happen to me, what I found won't be lost. My team was brought in to rescue a Guatemala cabinet minister and his aide, who had been captured by guerrilla forces in Valverde. We located the downed helicopter and the skinned bodies of those aboard, hung in nearby trees, seemingly at the hands of guerrilla fighters. After assaulting their camp, it became clear that the mission was a setup. American intelligence had sent us to retrieve the captured agents who had been on recon for a future military action. But none of that matters, because while we were clearing out the guerrillas, something was hunting us. An invisible kill attracted us as we made our way to the extraction point. In 24 hours, it wiped out my entire team. Rick Hawkins, Blaine Cooper, Mac Elliott, Billy Sowell, Jorge Ramirez, and Al Dillon. The best soldiers I've ever known. Men I trusted with my life were butchered like animals. It was a nightmare. We walked in with guns, but it had perfect camouflage, advanced weaponry, and could see heat. It was strong and smart, a pitiless hunter. I waited. I watched, and when I understood it, when I saw how it hunted, I killed it. As it lay dying, in a final fuck you, it activated an explosive device. I barely escaped that blast. My radiation sickness and the crater of the explosion are the only evidence it ever was here. I have given my official statement to Agent Peter Keys of the OWLF. But it's become clear, I needed to investigate Valverde myself. Keys were thorough, but he asked all the wrong questions. I mean, we have proof of alien life, but that life sees us as game. It's an alien whose first contact with humanity was to hunt us for sport. All Keys cared about was the technology lost in the explosion. He can see the jungle for the trees. I see the threat. He sees the opportunity. Spies are all the same. I mean, we aren't people to them. We are assets. How many soldiers would he feed to those monsters just for a chance to steal from them or to learn from them? The government can't be trusted. So I will have to do this on my own. I'm cutting my treatment short and going off the grid. I will make my way back to South America to Valverde. I was told that there were stories about demons who make trophies of man. I'd like to hear those stories. Wow, that's really, really neat. Wasn't that Arnold? Yeah, from the first movie. <laughs> Goes by Dutch. See, this makes me want to rewatch the the Predator movies again. I like that they have these little audio tapes. You know, give it the backgrounds of all the events Predators took place. It was, it kind of reminds me like how Friday the 13th, like they had like tapes too, and you listen to like, um, Tommy Jarvis or Pamela, Jason's mom. Seems similar. So all you gotta do is just level up and then you get these, uh, tapes. Let's see, let's customize it. Wasn't there anything I could customize? Let's see the head. Red locks. Thicker or thinner? 
Eh, keep them thin. Mask. Oh, I don't want to choose mask. War paint. No, it was really anything. Okay. Fire team. Oh, let me see more of the extras. Um, how to. General gameplay. Oh no, video. Uh, it's a lot to read from. I kind of just want to get in on the action. I got the taste for it. Game mode hunt. Four soldiers drop into an exotic location infested with enemies to execute a mission before getting to the chopper. <laughs> getting to the chopper. While the fire team attempts to do this, a predator must hunt down and eliminate as many of them as they can before they escape. As long as one fire team member makes it out alive, the hunt has failed for the predator. Well, that's good. I mean, I mean, if you're human, predator, not good. Game mode clash. Go head to head against another fire team as you both try to lock down the AO. Earn points by holding down the capture point with a small bonus for each kill. Gain enough points to unlock the ability for one of your team to become the predator. You may decline and pass it to a teammate. Be careful though, the other team may also have a predator. First to reach the score limit wins. Oh, well, that's neat. Map boundaries. Mission area boundaries are marked on your map. If you continue to leave the map's boundaries, you will not survive. Stargazer. The former independent government contractor turned rogue international arms dealer after the stargazing incident in 2018. The entire program was shut down due to a massive security breach. Blah, blah, blah. Reclaim the place. For bitter ex agent stargazers stole intel and technology gather on predators to form the black market arms manufacturing. Okay, this more details on like story and background. I I wanna I would read it, but I wanna get on the gameplay. Oh well this uh... Okay, what's the options? Let me look at options. Crossplay on. Epic Games. Was I linked with them before? Uh, sure, audio, video, control options. No credits.
Stargazer's paying a particularly violent drug lord to destabilize the region by flooding it with cheap narcotics. If we don't intervene, we're looking at a full-blown economic collapse. If Stargazer's play relies on the drug lord, then we take him off the board. Doing what you One? You act like this is the first time. Stop! I'm down! Oh, uh, no. I know how the game works. <laughs> that was an experience. I think I'll try a few, like maybe solo. 
Well, no, you can't have it solo, but I mean, off, off the recording stuff. I think I'll end it right there, but I'll, I'm, I'm really liking this. Like, I, I want to try it more.